Hey guys, Leif here from uh, ATEC Office Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to set up scan to email using the uh, Google or Gmail email server. So um, to set this up, uh, we're going to go into utility. We're going to go into administrator settings again. Number three, log in with our password. One through to eight twice, hit OK. And we're going to go into number five, network settings. We're going to go into number seven, email settings. And uh, to set up the uh, uh, email server for scanning to email is, of course, number one here, email transmit or the SMTP server. So I'm not, I've already programmed this, but I'm going to go through it with you uh, what I've done. So we're going to go first on page, just note that it's page one out of six here, so we have a few uh, pages we need to configure. Uh, we're just going to make sure that these are all on before we start on page one. And then we're going to go to page two out of six. And we're going to type in the uh, SNTP server or the uh, host address. And you can see I've already type that in there smtp.gmail.com so to do that I just hit the hostname button type it in there and hit OK and uh, the next one is we're gonna go into page 5 out of 6 so scroll down we don't need to configure anything on page 3 nothing on page 4 we can leave that as the default settings but on 5 uh, as a default, this uh, SSL is turned off, so we're going to change that to start TLS. So make sure it's exactly as I've got it on the screen here. So we click on start TLS, and also note, make sure that it, the port number for SSL here is 465. It should be that by default, but just uh, make a note of that. And then the next thing we're going to do is to go into our detail settings button here and uh, for this to work we need to turn authentication on and uh, I didn't mention this at the start but to set up uh, scanning using uh, using G the Gmail server we need to have a uh, Gmail username and password so when I change this from off to on we click on there it pops up with this screen asking you for a username and password and I've already typed in you know this would be blank when you set it up uh, from scratch so your user ID will be your full uh, Google or Gmail email address so I've typed that in there with my own one atechprinting at gmail.com and your uh, password to go with that uh, account so we type that in there make sure that's okay uh, you don't need to fill anything out in the uh, domain name and we're going to hit OK on there and uh, then we're going to hit OK all the way out and close there and uh, the last thing, I'll just mention this as well, this is just general housekeeping when you set up scan to email you need to go into this one here, administrator machine settings and number one machine registration and make sure you have an email uh, address on there so we hit OK close close all the way out and uh, we're now gonna go into our scan fax uh, and hit the email and hit scan and we're just gonna test this and make sure that that's uh, going through I can check that and that's uh, uh, still going through takes a little while obviously and th that's now done so that's how we set up uh, scanning using the uh, uh, Gmail server just one thing I'd like to mention on there when you uh, when you scan to email using the Gmail server it will use the account that you set up for authentication that will be your password that will be your from address when you send uh, uh, send scans to email and there's a couple of workarounds for that as well I'll put that in a, uh, a document underneath this video
That's it.